of the 19th century. The most famous scientist of the time, Humphrey Davy, built an extraordinary piece of electrical equipment. Four meters wide twice as long and containing acid and metal. It was in fact the biggest battery the world had ever seen. Using just two simple rods. Humphrey was about to unleash the true potential of electricity. Electricity is one of nature's most awesome phenomenon. And the most powerful magnification, is lightning. The truth about the discovery is a bit more complex than a man flying his kite. But it actually goes back more than 2000 years. About 600 BC, the real history of electricity began. The ancient Greeks discovered that rubbing fur and amber caused an attraction between the two objects. So, what the Greeks discovered that was actually static electricity. Additionally, in the 18th century the heard of demonstrations. There was 35 years old Francis Hawksby. Notes from the Royal Society in 1705, revealed how hard Hawksby tried to stump his personality. Until 1705, most of these experiments were air pump experiments of a mundane nature. But Hawksby investigating the luminosity of Mercury, which was known to emit a glow under barometric vacuum conditions. It modified version of Otto von Gerich's generator. The audience were about to see something amazing. It's difficult to really understand why this dancing blue light means so much. Natural phenomena, like this were seen to be the work of Almighty. Before Hawk's speed, electricity had been merely a curiosity. The ancient Greeks rubbed amber, which they called electron. Even Queen Elizabeth, marveled at static electricity's power to lift feathers. The electrician had placed some feathers on the table. Then charged up a glass rod with a silk hand. 
he then lifting up the feathers with a glass rod. They arise a one question how we can control these amazing power. One of the first early breakthrough would never have happened in the 1720s is Stephen Gray. Stephen Gray, built a wooden frame, and from the top beam suspended two swings, using silk rope. A boy to lie across two swings, Gray placed the gold leaf in front of him. He had, Hawks beam machine to generate static electricity. He then generate electricity and charge the boy through a connecting rod. But the curious mind of Stephen Gray, this said something else as well, electricity could move. It led, Gray to divide the world into two different kinds of substances. He called them insulators and conductors. The next to our story came when we learned how to store electricity. And it was here that a professor came up with an invention that the most significant of the 18th century. That professor was, Peter Van Mussen broke. He was trying to find a way to store electrical charge. If electricity is a fluid that flows, a bit like water, then maybe you can store it. Mustenbrek make a device to store electricity, he took a water in a jar. He then placed inside a length of conducting wire, and then he put the jar on an insulator. He then tired to pour electricity into the jar, and he observed the spark. This is probably, one of the most famous scientific images of the 18th century. It shows Benjamin Franklin the heroic scientist flying a kite in a strong proving that lightning is electrical. They confirmed that it was the same as the electricity made by man. Why, the jar made the biggest sparks when it was held in the hand. Next, Franklin turned his rational mind to another question. As a successful businessman, he saw something no one else had. That money in a bank, electricity can be credit, when he called positive, or debit, negative. Here, is a very interesting topic after all these discoveries is about torpedo fishes. At first, many people dismissed the torpedo fishes shocks as a cult. A friend wrote to Henry Cavendish on this, My first experience of the effect of torpedo, I explained this is electricity, but how? By the end of the 18th century, they come up with an answer. But, for Alessandro Volta animal electricity smashed of superstition and magic. Now, he first prepared a frog. The frog is skinned and disembled. Then he used Hawksby's electrical machine to generate static electricity. Then he connected charge carrying wire to the frog, and another to the nerve above the leg. Oh! The frog legs twitches. For Galvani, what was going there strange he realized that was animal electricity. In 1870, Volta began his search for new source of electricity. He found that new source by using two different metals. Then he goes back to the torpedo fish, perhaps he observed each champers like the spoons and coins. 200 years after Volta, we understand what electricity actually is. A new age where electricity ceased being and more curiosity with constant flowing current. This laid the foundations for chemistry, physics and modern industry. In recognition of Volta, a fundamental measure of electricity was named in his honor. 
At the start of the 19th century, scientists realized electricity was intimately connected with forces magnetism. On 29th of February, 1812, Faraday, the son of blacksmith finished his formal education by 12th age. But he wasn't finished with learning, as he was fascinated by science. Faraday worked long and hard during the day, by binding books. But in the evenings, he had read whatever scientific literature. Faraday created a circuit using battery, a pair of wires and mercury bath. It generates a circular magnetic force field around the wire when current flowing through the end. Now, because mercury is a good conductor, it completes the circuits. The beautiful device first converted electric current into continuous motion. It is the earliest ever electric motor. A few days later, instead of moving the magnet through the conducting wire coil, he had created electrical power directly from mechanical power. In 1820, separate experiments by A. M. Ampere confirmed that relationships between electricity and magnetism. And by early 1880s, the American Thomas Selva Edison what he did was very well. Edison's dream was to bring electric light to every home in the land. Edison's Menlo Park team set about developing a totally different form of electric lamp. But he was come with idea resistance, inside the jar I have a filament made out of ordinary pencil lead. After testing different kinds of filaments he selected tungsten, came the incandescent light bulb. I have not failed thousand times. I have successfully discovered thousand ways to not make a light bulb. American first power station generating continuous direct current in 1882. The life and death of Tesla is one of the most fascinating yet tragic stories of scientific brilliance. The American public may have been wowed by Edison's new direct power stations. But Tesla was less impressed, he had a dream electricity could be transmitted across entire cities. Where the currents could be lowered without a fail and the amount of electrical power. It was called an alternating current. In 1888, Tesla Arc and Light Company he received two patterns from an AC generator. The war of currents has been done. At that time 100 DC power stations working in America, they have no frequency. A huge disadvantages of power losses in a transmission line. In New York, 1895, at American Institute of Engineers invited him to lectures about his achievements. He showed how transmitted electricity without wires. He sent out lightning, used his hands pass a current of a million voltages, to his hands, through his body. Winning a huge contract for a construction of hydroelectric power plant, at Niagara Falls. He constructed a mechanical oscillator, used to work on a selector resonance. A laboratorial he built was ideal, he worked for a geomagnetic research. At the center of his lab, he put a massive transformer. The end of primary winding is grounded, the other winding is at great height. He wanted this technology could transmit energy wirelessly using ground as a transmitter. He 
transmit energy wirelessly and 200 bulbs blown 25 miles radius from towers. Unfortunately the local power stations are not ready for such a large-scale experiment, the city generators simply burnt out. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly, one must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Nikola Tesla died on January 7, 1943, in mysterious circumstances. Invention that changed the world was telephone. I could be taking by telephone to pretty well, anyone on just about any part of the planet. Look, the story of how we got the phone. The dream of getting messages fly through the air was not easily. Pigeons has been carrying messages for hundred years. Sometimes, it dropped messages what would be needed to send messages. The telephone was the invention of a Captain John Taylor in 1844. Alexander Graham Bell was the first to be awarded a planet for the electric telephone. By the United States Patent and Trademark Office, in March 1876. The first mechanical computer created by Charles Babbage in 1822. Does not really resembles what most would consider a computer today. The ENIAC was invented by J. Prepper Eckert and John Watchley at the University of Pennsylvania began construction in 1843 and was not completed until 1946, it occupied about 1800 square feet and 1800 vacuum tubes. The ENIAC to be the first digital computer because it was fully functional. Electronics changes the whole world. It makes the world digitalized. Let's imagine, is it possible to control the power? In 1904 John Ambrose Fleming invented the diode. Before the invention of electronic devices there are no devices to control the power. By the invention of this diode control and the power makes possible. Later, triode was invented by Lee Dean Forrest in 1906. After the invention of these diodes, it creates a new era in electronics. In 1912, American engineer Edwin Howard invented the electronic oscillator. It produces a periodic, oscillating electronic signal. First experimental television was broadcasted in the United States in the year of 1928. After the invention of television Edward Howard developed FM radio receiver and transmitter. John Barton, Walter, and William Scotley invented the transistor in 1947. It is used in multi-purposes like amplifying the signal and transforming the resistance. In 1953 first fully transistorized computer. A 
American engineer Jack Kilby invented the integrated circuit in 1958. It's amazing to know that, it consists millions of transistors. At present mostly there are no electronic devices without integrated circuit. In 1960, Harold Maiman invented the laser. Now lasers are extended to all the fields like medicine, army, The basic principle of laser is amplification of light by stimulated emission of radiation. Electricity is one of the most important infrastructural facilities of modern civilization. The first power generation in this planet took place in USA and UK. In 1882 when a steam engine driving a dynamo produced DC current. About 90% of electrical power produced in the world by thermal now. In 1870 the mechanical production of electrical power began the second industrial revolution and created inventions using energy. Generation of thermal power was started in British India by a private company. The thermal power started its journey in India from the 17th April 1899. Today NTPC is the largest power company in India with an electrical power generating capacity of 42,009. In the 1820s and 1830s the British scientist Michael Faraday discovered the principles of electricity generation. REC, NTPC, NHPC were formed to accelerate the generation of electricity in India. The past century of hydropower has seen a number of hydroelectric advancements. The hydro station consumes no water, you like coal or gas plants. In 1870 commercial electricity production started with coupling of dynamo to the hydraulic turbine. The evolution of modern hydropower turbine began in the mid 1700s. In 1920s even the Joe Jacobs and Marsless use wind turbine to generate electricity. Throughout the 20th century parallel paths developed small wind plants suitable for farms and residences extract. By 2014, over 240,000 commercial size wind wave turbines were operating in the world, producing percentage of the world's electricity. By the 14th century Dutch windmills were used to drain areas of the Rhine River Delta. The first wind turbine used for the production of the electricity was built in Scotland in July 1887 by Professor James Blythe. Solar energy is one of the best and free source of energy. Because no one can yet charge you to harness the sun's rays. This energy is renewable and eco-friendly. It leads the future of electrical world. The first demonstration of direct piezoelectric effect was in 1880 by the brothers Pierce Curie and Jax Curie. The possible future for piezo crystals in roads, to use them for sensor technology. We usually light all the highways, and so then people can ride there at any time. 
P's electric effect is the ability of certain materials to generate an electric charge in response to applied mechanical stress. Piezoelectric device, used for harvesting the vibrational energy of roads. Walkways due to traffic, can produce electric energy. Over 60 years ago we introduced a new technology that would change the world. A HVDC is transmission across long distance with minimum losses. And we had another breakthrough with a converter using power's electrons. For making high voltage direct current system economical we called HVDC light. Transmission of large amount of power underground underwater and on overhead lines we use HVDC. In 1964, William C. Brown demonstrated a miniature equipment. It was combination of antenna and rectifier device called a rectina. The rectina converted the micropower into electricity. MWC might be used to power a remote weather station on top of a mountain. Microwaves have been proposed for beaming energy from solar energy farms in orbit back to ground. Optical fibers are used most often as a means to transmit light between the two ends of the fiber. It was first demonstrated by Daniel Colladon and Jax by the concept of light refraction. Optical fibers have a wide number of applications. They are used light guides in medical, illumination in decorative application etc. Kari Boone of Taxis Instruments was working on quite similar concept and inverted the microcontroller. The microprocessor is considered the brain of computer and Intel in the 1971. LDR, temperature sensor, ultrasonic sensor, humidity sensor, vibration sensor. The first thermostat came to market in 1883 by Warren S. Johnson. A photosensor that detects the presence of visible light. Motion sensors in various systems including home security lights, automatic doors, etc. The birth of display was the beginning of a new world. In the world that was revealed by the display, we saw a brighter future. A window of communication which allows mutual understanding beyond the visible world. It always leads us to selecting the best by swiftly reacting even at unexpected moments. The unlimited evolution of technology turns all imagination to a display into real. Furthermore, our desired values are provided anywhere and anytime through thinner and lighter forms. Interface without gap between humans and technology.
Although the display is evolving ceaselessly, our never-changing values will continue to be projected toward human beings. A sheet of display will wrap around even our hearts and contain values of communication and healing to get us closer to fulfilling our dreams. An amazing and precious experience where desires are unfolded and all emotions in that space are conveyed through the five senses. Prehistoric times and ancient history are defined by the materials that were harnessed during that period. We have the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. Today is a little more complex. We live in the Space Age, the Nuclear Age, and the Information Age. And now we are entering the Graphene Age. A potential application of graphene could uses. Electronic, sensor technology, energy. It also uses in medical field. The graphene battery charges five times faster than today's cell phones and laptops, and they fully charged in 12 minutes. Graphene is made by graphite which is crystalline form of carbon. and arranged in a hexagonal order and is million times thinner than human hair. And it is 200 times stronger than steel and it is much 6 times lighter. Not only that it can stretch up to corner. It is harder than diamond and also conducts electricity faster than any other substance. And it is 140 times faster than silicon. It can also conducts heat 10 times faster than copper and it is transparent. Electric cars fully charged at home in an hour. Graphene is used as supercapacitor. The theory of graphene was first explored by Wallace in 1947. For the first time in history a new emerging patent pending power source technology. With vast improvements the unique silicon, graphite power cells provide continuously. The ability to operate continuously without the need for external electrical or fuel input. Imagine a feature without batteries but in same future it charges in minutes. This device stores electricity by assembling ions on the surface of a silicon. The feature potential of this technology is enormous. Ion Thruster makes national breakthrough project. One of its long-term goal is to move from using rockets. The problem with rocket is not that they can be gravity, is the amount of thrust mean to it. At the Glenn Research Laboratories, work is underway to produce new forms of space engine. Once they really goods the rockets came beyond isolar system. This an ion thruster under test, pouring a constant steam of charged particle. Applications include control of the orientation and position of orbiting satellites. Ion thruster engines are practical only in the vacuum of space.